Hi, Jay Massey here with thecashflowdiary.com with another quick tip about real estate and business. Today, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, taxes. You know, it's almost that time of year again. And even if it's not that time of year again, you're thinking about it. I know for some people, uh, you know, as it gets close to April, you get all nervous and you're thinking about taxes. And for other people, as you get close to October, you start thinking about taxes. And some people, when you're thinking every 90 days, you're thinking about taxes because we've got so many different forms of taxes and, and we get worried about it. Here's one of the things that I'm going to share with you. Stop worrying about it. It's part of the system, absolutely. But one of the things that my CFO has taught me is a, a simple phrase that I have to keep remembering so that I can stay focused on what it is that I do best. Yes, taxes are part of our system, but it doesn't mean you should be worrying about it because it's not the highest and best use of your time. But here's the phrase, and I'm going to share it with you. It's a great phrase, and every time she says it, I have to remember that it's there for a reason. And here's the point. She always is telling me, there are people for that. <laughs> She's always telling me, there's people for that. There's people for that. Oh, that's right. There are people for that. If you are concerned and wrapped up over your taxes, you know what? There are people for that. When is the last time you actually tried to do your own taxes anyway? I heard a recent statistic that said 60%, 60% of people use a professional preparer of some kind. 29% use some sort of tax software. So, and, and only a very small, small percentage of the population actually go out there and try to do it totally on their own with no additional assistance, etc. So I think we actually understand this concept, but don't worry about it. What's the highest and best use of your time? Because here's the point. How else could you go create value? Yes, you've got to pay the tax repair, but could you think of an idea that could earn more than what the tax repair is charging you? Uh, how much time, how many hours are you spending actually going out there researching the tax code or even trying to research prepares and get all these things done? Think about that. That's an opportunity cost that we're paying and you're wondering about the cost of your taxes? Isn't that opportunity cost just a little bit larger? So here's the point. If you don't want or can't, and I, in my opinion, shouldn't, be the expert, you can therefore devote your time to something more important like going out there to create value, improving the lives of other people through your real estate, through your business, or whatever that great idea is. If you like information like this and you want more of it, feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way, the next time you log into YouTube, you'll see our new videos as well.